Yo, what is up guys? Smoothie here, bringing you a Gotham City Imposters commentary on some map. I don't really know what it is. Um, to be honest, when I play this game, I don't pay attention to the maps at all. Because if you ask me, they all look pretty much the same. Uh, it's kind of, I mean, when I see like something like Ace Chemical, that's really the only map I know. I just kind of, you know, I just space out. And I like, I think it's this map, but it turns out to be something totally different. So I just, I just stopped caring. But anyways, um, I'm gonna, in this commentary, I'm gonna compare, uh, what I like about this game and what I like about Nexus. And when I think of those two games, of these two games that came out, um, I think of them as you buy one or the other, or you like one or the other. But in this case, um, when it comes to Gotham City Imposters, oh, and the final score of this gameplay is, um, 19-1, by the way. Uh, this game, the team death matches go by really fast, and it's really hard to pick up kills. And not to mention, I get a lot of assists usually, so that's for the low score. But I thought it was it's the best I could get for uh, for the short time I've had it. But anyways, um, there's a few things that I like about this game, and there's a few things I like about Nexus. Now, obviously, when you look at this game, it is a much um, more complicated game. Uh, you, you choose from it's more Call of Duty esque. You have a lot of gadgets you can choose from, a lot of different body types which either give you more health or allow you to move faster. You've got uh, small kill streaks that you can get. You've got, you know, all these weird things that you can pick up and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, it's uh, it's pretty basic. I mean, it's not basic. It's it's kind of complicated. Uh, I mean, I was confused as hell when I first started playing it. Uh, compared to Nexus, I knew what to do. Uh, you run around, pick up weapons, and kill people. It's much more simple. Uh, and that's either a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. I really like Nexus. Nex. I don't know how you would say Nexus's, um, Nexus's uh, gameplay. However, uh, it doesn't have any way to level up, pretty much. Um, and there's really not much customization to it. And when games have an RPG element, where you can level up your character and unlock stuff, it definitely brings... Uh, it definitely expands the playability of it, I feel. So that's one thing I like about the overall gameplay of Gotham City Imposters. However, as uh, most Call of Duty players know, when you put too much stuff in the game, a lot of the times you get deaths and players who um, are kind of irritating. And uh, the main thing I'm talking about, if you've ever played this game, you know you've probably seen people use the glider rig. The glider rig is by far the most annoying thing in this game I could ever imagine. Basically what you have is some motherfucking fat ass motherfuckers flying around on a little parachute or a little, I don't know what, a uh, paraglider or whatever. I don't know what it is exactly. But basically they can dive bomb you. They're flying like uh, like a hundred feet up in the air. It's The hit detection when you're flying is really bad. So it's hard to kill them. They can dive bomb you, take away half of your health instantly, and then kill you. And it's really hard to get gameplays when you got people dive bombing you 24/7. So, I mean, that's just one example of stuff I don't like. And then that kind of brings into Nexus. Uh, one of the pros of Nexus, where the gameplay is very refined, it's very smooth, and it's very basic, which means, uh, which basically. Uh, mounts to a balanced game and something where everyone has the same stuff you have the oppor you have the same opportunity to grab stuff which makes it uh, not as much BS as you would in this game but um what else I knew I had a few cons and pros of each um, this game is a bit more expensive it's five dollars more fifteen dollars or twelve hundred Microsoft points if you're on Xbox which is what I'm on um, and I felt, I feel that this game uh, did a lot of things right that I wish Call of Duty would have thought of. And it's kind of weird to think about a game uh, that just that comes out from basically almost an independent studio, I believe. Um, considering it came out as an arcade game and not a full game, I believe it's a smaller studio. I'm not certain though. Um, where they come up with these amazing ideas, where they have a version of Death Streaks in the game. It's like um, where you. It's basically the same one I have on. I have a kill streak on, but it's like the same thing, but a death streak where you get five deaths in a row. You have like, you basically get Juggernaut for a short amount of time, a lot like Painkiller, but you can choose when to activate it. But when you have a death streak on, that means you don't get any kill streaks. You can't equip it, 
And so that's what I thought was really nice, and I thought it was a really amazing idea. I'm like, that's that's perfect. That's how you deal with death streaks. I mean, granted, um, you're not going to be dying to them as often. You're going to be dying to them more often, I'd say. But to be honest, getting five deaths in this game is pretty hard. But uh, anyways, gameplay's winding down. Ended off really nice right here, using my little painkiller kill streak. Get a, like a quad feed or something like that. Got a 14 kill streak right before it, so that was pretty sick. I'll probably bring you a more detailed commentary after this, but anyways, uh, if you liked it, please leave a like, and as always, don't forget to subscribe.